I've received a number of requests to remove or replace the massive clock that is displayed on the lock screen of the Pixel 6, the Pixel 6 Pro, and older Google Pixel smartphones that have received the update to Android 12. This is something that the company had originally not allowed back when it was beta testing the update but those with the latest version of Android should have a new feature tucked away in the settings application that can remove this feature. For anyone who is not aware of this issue, if you have a Google Pixel smartphone and you lock the screen, if there are not any notifications waiting for you, then you're gonna see this massive clock right here. However, if you do have a notification waiting for you, then whenever you look at the lock screen, the clock is going to be shrunk and tucked away in the top left corner. So many people actually prefer to have the, the clock in the corner and not taking up the entire screen for many reasons. And this was something that was not allowed for a while. So for many, they prefer the larger clock because it is easier to read, but for others, the change in the location and the size makes it annoying to deal with. Thankfully, we can shrink down this massive lock screen clock to where it goes whenever there is a notification waiting for you, even if we don't have a notification. Since we do not have a notification right now, the clock is rather large. And we can do that by opening up the settings application, scrolling down a little bit until you see the display option, and then look for the section labeled lock display. You should have an option here called lock screen. And from here, you're going to see an option labeled double line clock. This is enabled by default, and we can simply come in and disable this feature. Now, even though we do not have a notification right here, whenever we look at the lock screen, we're no longer gonna see that massive clock right here. It's gonna be tucked away in the corner like normal. This feature is a big reason why people should not get bothered by user interface changes to beta versions of Android. Before, this was not possible and it caused people to use other workarounds in order to achieve the same goal. But now we have that toggle to make it very easy. Then again, if there weren't as many complaints about the change before, then maybe Google wouldn't have decided to add this in after all. Either way, we now have this feature and it's easy to change it back and forth without having to jump through a bunch of hoops.